Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a flash game trailer online um, using Visual Basic Standard. So you're going to need Firefox, Visual Basic, and so something has to be with decompiler. So type in SWF decompiler. That's it. Okay, so download Firefox. I've already got it so I'm not gonna install it. Now the visual basics is quite hard to get. Well it's easy but some don't know how to get it. So click Microsoft Visual Basics. Scroll down until you find this scroll box or whatever it is. Select your language. I'm English, so I'm going to be selecting English. I'm going to cancel that because I've already got it. And then next you need so think SWF decompiler. Save that and then install that. Okay, so once you've got all of them tools, I've got Firefox. Um, Visual Basics and Surfing SWF decompiler. So you're going to need a game for hack. I'm going to use Last and Two Arm Games. <coughs> okay, scroll down. Okay, so you know you're going to need the source of the game. So right click anywhere but the ads and the main game and click view page info. Go to the media tab and then this address box scroll down, scroll down until you find the game name or games, something about the game. That's the game name. Dot SWF. So you're going to have to copy that and then save as. Save the file to your desktop. Now, paste um, that what you've just copied into a notepad because you're going to need that later. Okay, so open the last band to the SWF. Okay, continue. Okay, now you're going to open the main, the main game itself. It's going to take a while. It's almost normal. Okay, now you're going to go down to action and click the main movie. Now this is all of the source code for Last Stand 2. So once you've got that, well, that's finished. Just wait there for a little time. Okay, now open Visual Basics 2010. Create a new project. Call it Last and Two. Make it a Windows form. The application. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You can change the name, change the last two, change the icon, change the GUI. But this is the main source. Okay, so you're going to need um, soft shockwave flash objects. If you don't have it in yours, which you probably don't, right click anywhere. Choose items, it's going to take a while. Com components, it's going to take a while. And scroll down until you find Shockwave Flash Object. Yes, so Shockwave Flash Object. Okay, so once you got that, tick it, press OK. Now double click that, <coughs> or just one click it and then drag it. But I'm just going to double click it. 
Okay, now we can change the size of this. Whatever. Do whatever you want to it. Okay, and to make this run, I'm going to click it anywhere except from the S F O and type. Oh wait, wait. First, you're going to click the Shopware Flash object and change the name of it. I'm going to change it to one because one's easy to remember. Now I'm going to double click in the background. To make this run in the background, you're going to type one dot movie equals and you're going to go to the notepad and to copy that. Now to test if this works, just run your program. Let's wait for it to load. Oh yeah, you're going to need space at the bottom like I have here. Okay, so it works, you got the adverts and everything. Okay. So that's where it means it's gonna be online. Okay, so once you've got that you're gonna find some thing to cheat on. So on this game there's loads of zombies. You get survivors and weapons like pistols. So I'm gonna find weapons. If you can't find it, just right click up there and type something to do with weapons like pistol. Search. Okay, so Ah, oh, there we go. So a pistol is the main weapon in the game, one that you start with. So you should change that one automatically for the best. So you're gonna have to change pistol damage five, headshot damage eight, and magazine capacity or whatever that says. So open Visual Basics and the button. Make it whatever size you want. <coughs> and type call one dot set variable. Hmm. Open bracket speech marks underscore root dot pistol dot damage. Speech marks, comma, and so what's the damage at already? Damage is 5, so I'm going to change that damage to 50. Close brackets. Now I'll make another one. I'm just going to copy this because it's much quicker. Paste it there. Pistol head shot. Was it headshot damage? Um, comma, make that about sixty. It's going to be one shot kill anyway. So, and I need to change magazine capacity. So, it's hard spelling. And if you can notice, you can't copy this. So, it's going to be kind of hard. Magazine. This is the C A P A City. Now I'm going to change that to something like no 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 no. So you can't run out of ammo. What? Wrong with that? I don't know what's wrong with that. Ah, I see. No problem. Okay, so once you got that, change that back. Um, change that to something like pistol upgrade. To make sure that it works, just run your program. Wait for it to load. Oh, and if you're making a uh, last stand. Oh, yeah. If 
you're making a last stand trailer trainer, you can put it has wall hacks too. Because that you, as you can see to the left. And you can see behind the wall when you're playing the main game. So use pistol grid. That's it whilst it's in game just in case. So once you've done that, then well that's your trainer done. But you can also make it go back to normal, like fix it. So I'm just gonna copy that, make a new button, call it. Go to paste that. That's twelve. That's five, I think. Yeah, so five and eight. Now I don't know if this is going to work straight away or you'll have to wait until it like starts in the round but it should work. And what you can do to this is add a nice little pattern, a good name, some a GUI, cool looking background, some new piston, new buttons stuff. Yeah, so this little grid, this little grid, this little grid. Okay, I'm gonna see if it works. Okay, why can't I do it? You're gonna have to wait until kill it. Hello, thanks for watching. Um, and 2795 thanks for watching bye